On March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370, a Boeing 777, vanished, sparking one of the greatest mysteries in modern aviation. Stay tuned with us until the end as we uncover a startling piece of evidence that emerged long after all hope seemed lost. Welcome to As Told by Bells, where mysteries unfold, the bizarre becomes reality, and strange stories come to life. I'm Bells, your guide into the world of the unexplained. Each week, we'll delve into unsolved mysteries and tales so bizarre you won't believe they happened. In today's video, as we honor the stories of those who are missing, I placed a few subtle reminders to engage, not just with my channel, but with the stories themselves. If you notice the like button discreetly placed throughout this video, each press is a show of support, not just for our channel, but for keeping the awareness of these cases alive. If you're comfortable, share in the comments how many you found, and more importantly, share your thoughts or messages of hope for the families. Let's use our platform here to foster a community that cares and remembers. This is the haunting tale of MH370. The flight was routine, scheduled to connect Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. It was just past midnight when MH370, carrying 239 souls, took to the skies under the command of Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah. Captain Zahari was a veteran pilot known for his deep knowledge and passion for aviation. Beside him, First Officer Farik Abdul Hamid, a young pilot on the brink of marrying his fiance. Together, they piloted the aircraft into the night sky. Less than an hour into what should have been a routine flight, MH370 communicated with air traffic control for the last time. What seemed a normal sign-off turned into the last words ever heard from the crew. Shortly after that final message, the aircraft disappeared from civilian radars, but continued to be tracked by military radar. It deviated sharply, crossing over the Malay Peninsula and then heading northwest into the Indian Ocean. This sudden turn puzzled the world. What or who caused MH370 to veer off course so drastically? Among the passengers were 153 Chinese nationals returning home and a group of artists coming back from an exhibition. There were also 38 Malaysians, some of who were families, businessmen, and even two infants experiencing their first flight. The disappearance prompted an international search effort unprecedented in scale and scope. The South China Sea, the Strait of Malacca, and eventually the vast uncharted waters of the Indian Ocean were scoured by ships and aircrafts from multiple countries. As the search continued, the world's attention turned to the grieving families. The families of the passengers on Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 experienced a range of emotions towards the authorities, including frustration, grief, and anger. Their distress largely arose from what they perceived as a lack of transparency, the slow release of information, and the methods used in the search operations. From the beginning, many felt they were kept in the dark, receiving only sporadic and unclear updates that only heightened their anxiety and sadness. In their quest for clarity and closure, family members consistently called for more frequent and detailed communications from both Malaysia Airlines and government officials. As the search extended over weeks and then months, many relatives became increasingly skeptical of the effectiveness of the search operations. Some expressed concern that the search was not being conducted thoroughly enough or that certain areas were being overlooked. There were also frustrations regarding the coordination among the multiple countries involved in the search. In several instances, families organized protests, particularly in Beijing, where many of the passengers were from. These protests were often directed at the Malaysian embassy, where family members demanded more direct answers from officials. 
Some of these gatherings escalated into emotional confrontations with security personnel, underscoring the profound desperation and sorrow felt by the families. Some families turned to legal action as a way to seek answers and hold the airlines and authorities accountable. They filed lawsuits against Malaysia Airlines and the Malaysian government, seeking compensation and a more comprehensive investigation into the incident. These legal actions reflected a profound distrust in the officials' accounts and a determination to uncover more about the plane's disappearance. Various theories about what happened to MH370, ranging from mechanical failure to pilot met with mixed reactions among the families. Some clung to any theory that might explain the disappearance, while others dismissed them as speculative and unhelpful without concrete evidence. Reports such as the official statement declaring the flight an accident and all passengers presumed dead were particularly painful, as many families were not ready to give up hope. Even years after the disappearance, many families have continued to call for the search for MH370 to be resumed. They have expressed a strong desire for closure and the need to understand exactly what happened to their loved ones. The grief and unresolved nature of the incident continued to impact these families deeply. Overall, the reaction of the families towards the authorities was fraught with emotional turmoil. They faced a tragic uncertainty that few can fully comprehend, and their responses were shaped by the overwhelming need for answers and closure in the face of an unprecedented aviation mystery. If you believe in the importance of continued investigation and bringing peace to the families of MH370, please show your support by hitting the like button. Each like helps spread awareness and keeps the conversation going. For months, the ocean yielded no clues and hope began to fade. Then, more than a year later, a twist that no one expected. On July 29, 2015, a piece of an airplane wing washed ashore on Reunion Island, a French territory. It was soon confirmed to be the flapperon from MH370. This discovery rekindled the investigation, providing the first tangible evidence that MH370 had met a tragic end in the Indian Ocean. Following this, other debris found along African coasts and islands corroborated the sad trajectory of MH370's final flight. Despite these discoveries, the main wreckage and the crucial flight recorders, the so-called black boxes, have not been found. The lack of definitive answers have fueled endless speculation and theories. Was it a hijack, a pilot's deliberate act, or a catastrophic technical failure? As we continue to seek answers, we remember the lives lost and the families left behind. What are your thoughts on the enduring mystery of MH370? Share your views and join us as we delve deeper into these unanswered questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more in-depth stories like this one. Until next time, keep your eyes open and your mind curious. Stay tuned for more stories from As Told by Bells.